Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about simple role-based authorization with Microsoft Intra ID in ESP.NET Core. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, let's start with prerequisites. Make sure you have the things had and installed. So number one is administrative access to Microsoft Entra ID which is active directory in Azure. Number two is Microsoft Graph PowerShell SDK. So I have installed by using these commands. So first I type this command. After that I have to type this command and once it's installed so I have checked if the module is installed or not. So I have seen these Microsoft.Graph uh, PowerShell SDK installed already. So first thing first is to create add authentication and authorization using Microsoft Entra ID for any app as well as to create app rules. It's necessary to create an app registration in Entra ID first. This can be done by either by Azure portal or using the Microsoft Graph API example through uh, PowerShell. Let's start by signing in. It's important to use write scope to be able to do that desired operation. In our case, we want to create new application registration. So here's a command. I'm uh, entering it. So that's great. I have given the access to my PowerShell using Graph Microsoft Graph SDK. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, our app registration need a bit of configuration for our use case. So let's define some variables for those. The first one defines a redirect URI that we want to use later when authenticating through Postman. So here's an example. We also need to define minimum one scope that can be requested access to when authenticating. Therefore, we need to define the identifier URI for our application as well as the scope itself. So here's an example. Now we can give a describe the app rows example admin and contributor so here's example with the configuration defined as variables we can proceed to create the actual app registration so here's example to be able to assign users later to the app rules we also need to create service principle for the application registration so here's example to assign users to app rules using a different set of scopes is needed when signing in powershell so here's example to create a new app role assignments, we need the user ID of the user to assign to the ID of the app role and the ID of the service principal. So let's look them up. First, let's retrieve newly created application registration. So here's example. The same way we can also look up the service principal. Here's example. With the IDs at hand, we can now create the app role assignment. So here's example. Okay, now configure and try. I need to use the newly created application registration with our app. We need to provide some configuration values in the app settings.json file of our project. So here's an example. To add authentication, we need to include a using statement for Microsoft.identity.web. Then we can add the authentication service from that library and configure it using the configuration we just added in app settings.json by referencing the Azure add object. Finally, we also need to use the authentication. So here's an example. After that, add role based authorization. This is the fun part. We leverage app roles by creating a new policy for every role we created in the app registration. So here's an example. So the last thing we have to do is add and secure endpoints with authentication and authorization configured in our app. We can create two sim sample endpoints and protect them by referencing the policies we just created. It's simple as that. So from this for auth URL uh, endpoint, you can authorize your Entra ID, Microsoft Entra ID. And from this URL, you can get the access token of your Entra ID. To use them in your uh, API project. 
So thank you for watching this video. App roles in Microsoft Entra ID provide an easy way to implement role-based authorization for simple scenarios. The Microsoft Identity Platform with its open source libraries make it simple to implement authentication and authorization to protect APIs in ASP.NET Core. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.